welcome to another radio related video this is a series of videos on the shortwave bands from 3 to 30 megahertz and so here we have the video for 5 megahertz so 5 megahertz is mostly a nighttime band um, basically from sunset to sunrise and it is on to most of the band is home to utilities but there are a, two segments of importance here one is from 5 to about 5.100 where it's uh, the end of the 60 meter tropical band so stations from the tropical areas of earth usually weak uh, power but uh, still listenable to most areas of the world when conditions are right then you've got utilities uh, all the way up to about 5750 and starting 5750 you are entering the 49 meters international broadcast band uh, the lower part of that band starts at around 5750 5800 so um, lots of signals on 5 megahertz uh, most of the time it has to be dark or near dark to listen to 5 megahertz and um, usually not much signals during the daytime although very close transmitters can be heard probably so let's start tuning 5 megahertz and at first well there's a uh, very weak tonight but WWV 5 megahertz and let's go up This is Radio Rebelde in Cuba. Radio Vani Cuba, of course. This is WBCQ, the planet. After about 5100, I'll switch to upper sideband because the signal is going to be easier to listen to. One thing possible to hear, uh, around 5200 to 5250, uh, there's a brand new amateur radio band, but there's not a lot of activity there yet. I have heard a few stations, amateur stations, but um, I haven't heard in quite a long time, but if you go through this band regularly, you'll probably hear some amateur radio stations. Uh, I believe this band is open only to certain areas of the world, not everywhere. So, um, what I have heard, I've heard Canadian stations there. I believe the United States also has possibilities here. It is also split between amateur radio and um, utilities, as you can see. This is uh, Shannon Vomit, uh, aeronautical weather from uh, Ireland, from Great Britain. In this frequency range, we have some uh, airplanes and also aeronautical frequencies. There's also some maritime, coastal, 
emergency frequencies on this area. And if you can see starting about here, we are entering the 49 meters international broadcast band. But um, I came on the scene and I had never heard real preaching before. WTWW. WEWN. That's what you're trying to do now. How did they work with what the student organization asked you to do? WWCR. How far into the future will they do this? I don't know. They're going to have to let it get so bad that the people will... WHRI. WWCR. And here we are at... So, this was 5 megahertz, as you can see. Lots of different little signals there. Uh, an interesting band to take a listen to and uh, you will uh, hear lots and lots of stuff there um, especially from uh, sunset to sunrise it's really a night band and uh, it's home to uh, some great 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 signals from uh, the uh, upper end of the tropical broadcast band up to 5.100 Utility signals of all sorts up to about 5750 and the 49 meter band of international shortwave broadcasts from 5750 up to 6 megahertz. So this was the 5 megahertz video. This is a, a video in our series of uh, international shortwave bands, uh, 1 megahertz segment at a time from 3 to 30 megahertz. So uh, look at our channel. All the segments from 3 to 30 megahertz will be explained. Um, what you can listen, when you can listen. I think it's a great little tutorial for newbies and even for seasoned uh, listeners because sometimes we might enjoy our hobby on specific frequencies and kind of forget that there's a whole world to listen to out there. So hope you enjoyed these videos, 73s.